Hey guys, Skater Mom here. I'm doing a review for you this morning on a Jujube bag. This bag is called the Hobo Bee, and this is my second review on a Hobo Bee that I've done. The other one I have did a few months back, and that was in the Kobo Blossoms Tangerine print. So I'll go ahead and link that below for any of you that haven't seen that particular video and want to check it out. This is kind of an updated video, if you will, on the Hobo Bee for me. I am packing a little bit less these days and a little bit more. It's kind of weird saying, but my older two are requiring more busy work these days, if you will, I guess. Busy work is a good kind of name for it. And my younger one, um, who is turning one this week, I cannot believe it, um, is requiring less and less as he gets older. So I have been repacking, if you will, the way that I pack most of my bags. So I thought I would do an updated Hobo Bee video because this bag is pretty popular in the Jujube world. And this print is a legacy collection print. This is the Duchess and I am addicted to this print. I love it. I have a Super Bee and a Bee Light and a bunch of accessories and um, a Better Bee on the way. And so I'm just super addicted to this. I love it. I think it's stunning in real life. So I'll go ahead and get right in and I will show you how I have it packed up. I have it packed up for pretty much a afternoon out with just baby. I've been using it the past couple days and I haven't really needed stuff for my older two unless we go out to eat somewhere. When we go out to eat, I tend to need more things because we're waiting for our food and they just need more busy work. So what I have done lately that is working for me is I will bring two quicks along with me. So I have a Duchess quick here that just has all of my older two's kind of arts and crafts type things in here and busy stuff for when we're going out to eat. And then I have another quick that's in the super adorable King's Court print. I love this print, it's so sweet. And I just have a bunch of toys for babies. So he doesn't need this many toys when I'm out and about. So I like to just kind of throw them in a quick and when we're going in somewhere that's gonna require them to be good a little bit longer than usual, then I'll just grab these two quicks and my older two carry them and it's like they're little bags and they're good to go. So that's what I've been doing when I'm carrying my Hobo Bee, and it's working out really, really nicely. So I'll go ahead and show you how I have it packed up. Right here in the front is the Mommy Pocket. All of Jujube bags have a great Mommy Pocket on them. This one is no exception. In here, I just have my um, phone right here in the front. This is an iPhone 6 Plus, and it will definitely fit in this side pocket, but it's not that secure. So I'm like, I've been liking putting them in this front pocket here. So just have my phone in there, and then kind of tucked away in the corner, I have my little EOS ball. There is a key leash right here inside the mommy pocket, and I just have a hair tie and a Hello Kitty cozy that just has my chapstick in there. And then I will give you a better view on this inside as I unpack things here. Oh, that's just a receipt from being out. And that is everything in the main part. Now I'm going to attempt to kind of fold it down and give you a good view. There's two mesh pockets inside this front mommy pocket. Then you have a long zipper pocket in the back. So this little mesh pocket over here, I just have a pack of gum and I have some Altoids. Throw these back over here. And then in this other mesh pocket over here, I just have a little tissue holder. This is just a little custom piece that I had made and it just has tissues in it for me. And then in this back zipper pocket, I don't believe I have anything in it at the moment. I don't, but that pocket runs pretty deep on that bag. Can't really see because I have it kind of packed, but the inside has those two mesh pockets I was telling you about and that zipper. So that's all I have in the front mommy pocket. Right behind the mommy pocket, there is a felt lined cell phone pocket. This pocket is awesome. Unfortunately, my phone does not fit in there, so I don't have anything in there at this time, but it would be a great spot for kind of catch all things also. If you wanna throw some chapstick in there or, um, my son actually has his eye touch and I've been putting that in here also, but um, it's charging right now so I had to take it out. So it's a good little pocket for those little electronics or things you wanna keep safe in that pocket there. Then on the sides of the bag, I have a um, full size bottle here for my youngest. I've got six ounces of water in there for him. 
And then on the other side pocket, I just have my eyeglass case. And I can put my, su my sunglasses in here or my eyeglasses. So I just have my eyeglasses right now in there. And then on the back of the bag, flip it around here and show you. There is a snap closure here. I actually don't have it snapped at the moment because I have this back pocket kind of full. This bag comes with a great light change pad and it goes back here in this back pocket. Fits perfectly. I don't use the change pad so that's why it's not in here. I just have a custom piece back here. This is a booty pod cover with kind of a mixed legacy print on it. And I just carry my wet ones in here because I don't like how they leak in my bags. So that's why they're in a booty pod. And then, this is just a picture my daughter was drawing at dinner yesterday. And then I have a package of wipes, and then um, a couple of these dapple wipes to wipe off my son's toys when we're out. And that's all I have in that back pocket. It's just kind of wipes that I need to grab quickly. It snaps closed there, and it's really, really nice and streamlined. I want to touch on something really, really quickly before I get on the inside of the bag. A lot of you have seen in my videos that I love seat belt straps with my bags. And I know a lot of you out there in the Jujubee world use them. And I wanted to kind of show you how you detach this strap to put one on. I have a bright pink short strap that I love using with this bag because it's really, really comfy. I'm short and it fits super comfy underneath my arm. So I wanted to really quickly show you how easy it was to put these on. On these little rings on the bags of the Jujubee bags, this here comes right off. There's a little opening here in the middle, so you just slip it in and slip it off if you're looking to take it on or off and it comes right off the bag. It's that easy, and it stays all intact, so when you want to go to put it back on the bag, it's really, really easy. I was out with all three kiddos, and I decided to put the longer strap, the strap that came with the bag, on this bag because I can wear it crossbody when I do that, and I needed to be hands-free a couple times, so it comes right off, and then you have your messenger strap that's detached. And then you can get a seatbelt strap in hundreds of different colors. So all of you with all different kinds of hobo bees, you can get these straps to match anything. And um, Natalie in the Jujube Custom World makes these, and she does such a good job. I just love them. I use them on all my bags. I tend to use them on other bags that aren't even Jujube. So this is what it looks like when you attach it. They have nice swivel clips so your strap doesn't get all tangled up. It's just a really nice little accent piece to the bag. I love it. So I'll go ahead and take it off just so I can get on the inside of the bag a little bit quicker for you all. On the top here, I just have a little custom legacy fob that was made by Andrea attached there. I love these fobs. You guys that watch my videos know that, so I always kind of have one hanging out on my bag somewhere. Laying here on top of the bag, I just have my um, Kate Spade wallet and my keys. And then I have my Sophie giraffe for my younger sun and then I will give you a look on the inside here that is the beautiful hobo bee all packed up so there's two mesh pockets back here a long zipper another mesh pocket and another smaller zipper back here so I'll go ahead and sit it back up and show you how I have it packed up in this back zipper pocket I just have a couple little things I have a um, cute little pouch that I got at the loft and this just holds my receipts. When I carry that smaller wallet, I need a little wallet to hold my receipts. And then I have a little notebook and a posh samples if I'm out about and I wanna hand out some samples. And that's everything in that back pocket, which the back pocket is so big, you can definitely put more back there, but I just don't have a need for anything at the moment. Then there's two mesh pockets here in this back mesh pocket. I have my Honest Company hand sanitizer, I have my unique lip gloss, I have my Posh healer stick, and I have a small set piece in the Marquise print. And in here, I just have a bunch of Dum Dum Lollipops. I keep these all the time for my older two if I need a distraction or a reward or multiple things. So that's all in that back pocket. It's really big. You could have probably stuck a little bit more back there. In this um, back mesh pocket, I have my posh little snarky hand cream, and I'm actually almost out. I just ordered some more. And I have a small set piece in the Duchess print. And in here, I have a 
Tokidoki um, King's Court Be Neat Bib. I have a couple of these disposable restaurant placemats and then a couple more of those dapple wipes. And that's everything in that mesh pocket. In this front mesh pocket, all that I have is a little custom quicklet in the Hello Kitty TikTok print. And in here, I have all of my first aid things. So I'm not gonna pull everything out for you guys, but there's a little coin purse back there that has band-aids. I have pills for my husband and I, nail clippers, neosporin, Benadryl, scissors, Visine, Tums, you name it, it's probably in here. It's just kind of my little go-to um, med kit, if you will. Then in this little zipper pocket right here in the front, I have a couple of more mommy things that didn't fit in that front pouch. I have some of these little scope sticks. I have a little Tylenol, an eyeglass cleaner, some hair ties for my daughter, an extra hair tie for me, my headphones, and that's all that I have in that pocket. Then that's everything in the surrounding pockets inside the Hobo Bee. It'll give you kind of another little view. And then I just have three more things in here. I have an Innovavy um, Pack and Smart. This is just two servings of formula. I have a Duchess Medium set piece, and this just has snacks for pretty much all my kids. I have a Baby Mum Mum for the youngest, some fruit snacks, little go squeezes. I had a couple other things tucked in here over the weekend, but I um, we ate them, so they're not in there. But that's just a little snack bag. Then I have a large set piece in the same print, and this is my diapering needs for baby. There's a change of clothes for him, some of those little disposable baggies, a desitin, a disposable change mat, and two size five diapers in there. So that's all kind of compact, tucked in there. And that is everything that I have packed up in the Hobo Bee. I'll give you one last shot of the inside of it all empty. It's a great bag. It's perfect for me for like quick trips out with just one kid. It's just a really, um, it's a really nice bag. One of my favorite Jujubees for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel to see more updated bag reviews. I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to y'all soon.